ஸ்மிருதிஸ்மிருதிபுராணம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமாமி பகவத்பாதம் சங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் சங்கரம் சங்கராச்சாரியம் கேசவம் பாதராயணம் சூத்திரபாஷ்யவந்தே பகவந்தௌ புனஃ புனஃ ஈஸ்வரோ குருராத்மேதி மூர்த்திபேதவிபாகினே வியோமவியாப்தேஹாய தட்சிணாமூர்த்தையே நம ஓம் சஹனவோது சஹனவுனத்து சக வீரியம் கரவாவஹே தேஜஸ்வினாவதீத்தமஸ்துமாவித்வஷாவே ஓம் ஷாந்தாந்திபிரம்மை சம்புரோக்தோ ஜீவ ஆ஖ியாத்தமுச்சதே பிரகிருதிபிரசுபந்தாதிர்தாத்மே நம நாராயண பரோ விரக்தாதண்டமவியம் அண்டசியாந்தஸ்துமேலோகா சப்தீபாச்சமேதினி so this eighth chapter that we begin today is called as uh, akshara uh, akshara akshara brahm yoga the fourth chapter akshara brahm yoga yeah akshara brahm ஸ்லோக தே பிரம்ம தத்வித கிருஷ்ணம் அத்தியாத்தம் கர்மச்சாக்கிலம் ஹேர் ஜராமரண மோட்சா மாசிருத்தியம் அத்தியாத்தம் சாக்கிலம் சோ ஹியஸ் யூஸ் திஸ் வேர்ட் ஆஸ் பிரம்ம அத்தியாத்தம் அண்ட் தென் சாதிபூதாதி தெய்வம் மாம் சாதி யஜ்ஞம் சே விது பிரயாண காலே பிச்ச மாம் தே விதுர் யுக்த சோ திஸ் லாஸ்ட் லைன் அண்ட் திஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லைன் of 29th first line of 29th and second line of 30th is understood but what about this brahma adhyatmam sadi bhutam adi dev so adi bhuta adi daiva adi yajna so he is use these words adhyatmam karma karma cha akhilam has he, he has mentioned so what is this akhilam karma so there what is this karma adhyatmam பிரம்ம தீஸ் த்ரீ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் அண்ட் தென் அதிபூத அதி தெய்வம் அதி யஜ்யம் தீஸ் சிக்ஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் தேர் பாய் பிரஷ்ன பீஜ ஹாஸ் பீன் பிளான்டெட் பாய் பகவான் அர்ஜுனஸ் பிரஷ்ன பீஜானி உபதிஷ்டானி இத்தியாதினா த்ரூ திஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி நைன்த் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி எயிட் ஸ்லோக பகவத அர்ஜுனஸ் பாய் பகவான் ஃபார் அர்ஜுனா பிரஷ்ன பீஜாஸ் ஹாவ் பீன் டாட் மீனிங் ஹாவ் பீன் பிளான்டெட் அதஹ தத் பிரஷ்னார்த்தம் அர்ஜுன உவாச தேர் ஃபோர் நவ் டு கொஷன் இன் டு தோஸ் வேர்ட்ஸ் விச் பகவான் ஹேஸ் டாக்ட் அபவுட் அர்ஜுன ஆஸ்ன அர்ஜுன உவாச கிந்தத் பிரம்ம கிம் அத்தியாத்மம் கிம் கர்ம புருஷோத்தம அதிபூதஞ்ச கிம் புரோக்தம் அதிதைவம் கிம் உச்சதே சோ கிம் தத் பிரம்ம what is that brahma kim tat brahma tat brahma kim tat brahma kim adhyatmam kim karma i think next time it's better to shift to a document i think if this continues i'll shift to a document and see whether it's a google doc issue adibhutancha maybe now itself we can shift and see so 
I'll just copy tensile open into document and we'll see if that that is better. Just give me a moment. Can you see this document here? Okay, so let's try the document. Hopefully, this will work better. So, Kim Tat Brahma, Kim Adhyatnam, Kim Karma, He Purushottama, Kim Kincha Adhibhutam. What is this Adhibhutam that you talk about? Kincha. Adibhutam, Proktam, what is called as this Adibhutam and Adhyatmam. Kim Adhyatma Muchyate, what is this Adhyatma? So he just asked series of questions and the second shloka is continuation of questions, therefore uh, we'll read that also. Adi Yajya Katham Kotra Dehesmin Madhusudana Prayana Kalecha Katham Nyeyosi Niyatatma Bhi. Just a series of questions. Then he asked Adhi Ajnaha. Adhi Ajnaha. Adhi Ajnaha. Kaha. Kaha. Katham. He says Katham and Kaha. Adhi Ajna. Kaha. Who is this Adhi Ajna that you talk about? Atra. Asmin Deha Adhi Ajnaha ka. In this Deha. In this body. Who is this Adi Ajna that you talk about? He Madhu Sudhana. And then further he says, Prayana Kalecha. Prayana Kalecha. Katham Neha Asi. You are Neha. Tom Neo Asi. How are you to be known at the time of Prayana? Prayana is at the time of death, departure from this body. So, in this body, O Madhusudana, how, who and how is this Adhi Ajna and then Katham Niyavasi, who is it, I mean explain me the Vyavastha of this Adhi Ajna and where exactly is it and who is it, then at the time of death, how are you supposed to be known? Niyatatma bhi by whom? Because Bhagavan has hinted in the 6th chapter and 7th chapter also. In 6th chapter he has said that uh, the yogi, he has talked about Krama Mukti. Now actually Krama Mukti is being detailed here. So Prashta Bija which was there across the chapter, 7th chapter and somewhere from the 3rd chapter the yoga that was taught. Now he is asking how are you to be known by Niyata Atma, Atma here is Antakkarna. So those who have control over the mind, by them how are you to be known? See Nyeha again, Bhagavan Nyeha. So Jnana is indicated here as well. So I am not making the Anvaya because it is just a series of questions you can just put together with Kim however you are comfortable. And then these are the questions that Arjuna has asked. Esham prashnanam yathakramam nirnayaya shri bhagavan uvaja. So to nirnayaya, nirnaya to for clarification or for ascertainment of these clarification to these questions. As asked, yathakramam in the sequence that is asked, bhagavan may decide a separate sequence but then. Shri Bhagavan Uvaj answered. 
आंसर श्री भगवान उच अक्षर ब्रह्म परम स्वभाव्य भूत भावोद्भवक विसर्ग कर्म संयत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वर्ड एंड डेफिनेशन अक्षर ब्रह्म परम सो अक्षर वॉट इज दिस अक्षर बिकॉज इन दिसवेन चैप्टर इट सेल he had asked uh, where is that okay i'll close this let's open this here bhashya saptam adhyaya so these are the questions he had asked uh, here are the prashna bijas so brahma adhyatmam karma and then adidevam adiyajyam uh, because si prayana kale api cha mam te viduhu yukta chetasa te mam prayana kale api cha viduhu thereby jnana is indicated here by vid So in, Arjuna replaces this vidha to vidya, but the question is about the jnana or vidya. Prayana kala kale at the time of death, what is to be known? Who is to be known? You are to be known. So how are you to be known? That is the question there. Katham niyosi. Thereby he asks, Katham niyosi. Niyatatmo bhi and niyatatmo bhi. Bhagwan Bhaskara there says. ही से नियतात्म भी ही ओके देर इज नो ग्लॉस हियर इन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड देर इज नो ग्लॉस नियत आत्म भी दो हैव कंट्रोल ओवर दी नियत यथा कंट्रोल आत्मा देर इज अंत करण सो बाय दोज इट्स अ बहुरी बाय दोज हु हैव control over their antakarana and therefore buddhi also antakarana which has a role to play of buddhi as well there is a mind there is mind control and then known in buddhi there were prayana kale what was inquired into uh, what was uh, said by bhagwan he inquires into that prayana kale api cha mam viduhu they know yukta chetasa and yukta chetasa also Tells you, yukta chetha sah is replaced by niyata atma bhi. Yukta chetha sah vidhu. Those who have so yukta is same as niyata, and chetha is same as atma, meaning antakarana in the niyata atma shabd. So niyata atma is yukta chetha, yukta chetha. So by these people here, they vidhu who they know. He converts it to karmani prayogan. Says that how is it to be known by them at the time of death? Prayana kale. Other than these questions, this prayana kale a picture. At the time of death, something should be known. Samahita chitta ha iti. Yukte chitta is samahita chitta, and same meaning for niyata atma also. Now these are answered by saying, what is this Brahma? किन तद ब्रह्म फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आंसर्ड हियर किन तद ब्रह्म दैट इज आंसर्ड हियर एज अक्षर ब्रह्म अक्षर परम ब्रह्म और अक्षर यू इफ यू पुट परम विथ परम अक्षर ब्रह्म और अक्षर परम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म हैज बिन आस्ट व्हाट इज दैट ब्रह्म दैट इज परम ब्रह्म परम ब्रह्म व्हाट आई यूज इन दैवन चैप्टर से इज भगवान भगवान कृष्ण से दैट दैट ब्रह्म इज परम ब्रह्म विच इज अक्षर न अक्षरती अक्षर अक्षर परम ब्रह्म देन व्हाट इज अध्यात्म किम अध्यात्म व्हाट इज दिस वर्ड दैट यूज अध्यात्म यू शुड नो अध्यात्म ऑल्सो यू शुड नो दैट इज स्वभाव स्वभाव इज अध्यात्म स्वभाव अध्यात्म उच्य सो अक्षर परम ब्रह्म उच्य स्वभाव अध्यात्म उच्य विल लुक इन टू दि भाष्य एज टू वॉट वॉट दिस मीन्स हियर नाउ स्वभाव 
देन भूत भावो उद्भव कर भूत भाव उद्भव कर भूत सो भूत भाव उद्भव कर उद्भव कर कर यू सी दट क्रू क्रू धातु विच एज टेकन गुणा देर एंड देन पुरन रपर हेज ब्रॉट इन दट दिस रेफा दैट फॉलोड बाय यू गॉट गुणा एंड देन रेफा बाय उरन रपोरा एंड देन दि प्रत्यय कंटेंट इज अ सो यू गॉट कर सो इट शोज द उपपद तत्पुरुष सो दिस इज उपपद तत्पुरुष वॉट अबाउट दि अर्यर वन उद्भव कर इज उद्भव करोति उद्भव कर वॉट इज दट उद्भव विद दि भूत भाव भूत भाव उद्भव कर दीज आर दि फोर कॉम्पोनेट्स ऑफ दि सामस भूता भाव भूत भाव भूत भाव से उद्भव भूत भावोद्भव एंड भूत भाव भावोद्भव करोति भूत भावोद्भव कर उपपद तत्पुरुष तो सो टू षष्टी षष्टी सामस षष्टी तत्पुरुष देन आफ्टर षष्टी तत्पुरुष भूता भाव भाव से उद्भव वॉट इज दाव भाव इज भवनम सो भूता भूत बींग्स भूता भवनम मीनिंग द बींग सो भूत भाव उद्भव पुट टूगेदर यू कैन टेक एट द फ्रेज विच कैन बी कन्वर्टेड एज ट्रांसलेटेड एज द बर्थ ऑफ बींग्स बर्थ ऑफ बींग्स कर मीन्स कॉजिस Not karha independently you can't make a word so along with this causes what there is a bhuta bhav udhav karam is that which causes the udhava of beings causes the birth of beings that and this this visarga ha visarga also we'll see visarga means the is udhava and visarga so visarga means the end. basically it means the end visarga visarjana so you do visarjana of whatever there is prana pratishta and there is visarga visarjana but here visarjana is what the ritualistic oblation visarga so bhagwan bhashya kar that visarjana there is will be what not visarjana of the deity or not the visarjana of the person who is born but bhut bhav udbhav kar ha visarga ha That is karma sangita in samanadi karanya. That is called as uh, karma. So, what is kim karma that is being answered here? In the second line of the third shloka, what is karma is answered. So, aksharam is Brahma. Brahma is answered. Kim Brahma, kim tad Brahma, aksharam Brahma. And what is that? Paramam Brahma, aksharam paramam Brahma. So, one question is answered. Sabava is adhyatma. Second question is answered. Sabava will see in the Bhashya more. So Brahma Sabava, Brahma Sabava is Brahma. The uh, what it means is that Brahma Sabava is to be individualized. Uh, the Sabava here is in being individualized in a body. Manifestation basically, individual manifestation of Brahma. in the body in each and every body is called as adhyatma adhi atma atma so related to the atma atma means an individual jeevatma related to the individual what is the swabhav of brahma brahma himself appears as individual that is the swabhav so swabhav of brahma is called as this adhyatma very difficult words you know we don't know swabhava in that manner therefore we need the gloss to understand otherwise it is very difficult to see what is it see aksharam is very clear aksharam na aksharati iti aksharam but swabhava what is swabhava so uh, bhagwan bhashyakara takes this brahma with swabhava and says brahma swabhava adhyatma muchyate otherwise swabhava is what one's nature is not adhyatma that's how we understand as swabhava adhyatma is swabhav of brahma to manifest manifest in an individual as an individual as jeevatma anena atmana anena jeevatmana anupravishya says the shruti having created having created this just a second please 
<coughs> sorry so having created this uh, prapancha for the bhoga of the jivatma there is no purpose to the prapancha sarga srishti other than bhoga of the jiva so if you put multiple jivas together their bhoga is based on the each and every individual karma which is ripe for upabhoga that is called as prarabdha of each individual and some total of all prarabdhas of all individuals at any point of time will create this will define the way this prapancha will manifest now that prapancha is made, it is made for the jivas bhoga as per the karma all the jivas bhogas individually that prapancha is made about of elements you need elements therefore elements are created pancha mahabhutas then pancha mahabhutas are put together to create elementals all the things and all the bodies they are all products of sukshma and stula mahabhutas pancha mahabhutas mixed together in various proportions to get a particular thing including the body where which becomes as though sentient by association of brahma thereby there is this jiva who is a samsari samsari jiva after brahma reflects in that antakarana made of which is sukshma sharira made up of all the elementals it's a it's a product of all the elements it's a product and that in that product there is a reflection which is assumed as the real there is confusion as to the reflection being real and as a bimba the pratibimba becomes associated with this sharira the bimba gets dragged as though and that takes that individuality which is adhyatmam uchyate that swabhava of brahma to become as though individualizing each and every sharira that is called as swabhava then what is this uh, karma that he, that he has used in the 29 shloka bhagwan krishna has karma is visarga visarga is actually yajna here what is that yajna yajna means that visarga means uh, dev uh, devata muddishya havistyagah whatever is offered in the uh, in the ritual and that ritual need not be just yajna which is done in as a part of a uh, ritual which we know of everything is a ritual we have seen in the earlier chapters fourth chapter you seen how everything is a ritual which keeps the cycle continuing so doing karma and keeping this vrishti going in and thereby dhanya going in that dhanya is eaten by the purusha going in then purusha seed is formed the the uh, stri seed is formed through food that gets gets it going gets the samsara going then the progeny is born that keeps the samsara going that progeny also has some karma being born in a particular varna and an ashrama through through the ashramas karma continues thereby that ritual which is going on that is called as visarga here literally the varna ashrama dharma where the offering is made but then everything of these in chandogya upanishad there is a description of entire creation so all the journey of the jiva itself is a ritual there how a jiva is born and how he continues his journey so that entire cycle is driven by this yajna so that visarga offering is called as karma karma sanyita visarga is what bhuta bhavodbhav karaha because karma will lead to karma phala and that karma phala for bhoga has to create a being and what being the being as in the individual is being the being cannot what is existent cannot be created at all that existent entity which is one without a second manifest in the body mind sense complex as an in, individual that is bhuta bhavod bhava karaha that yajna which causes this through this karma phala generation itself is called as karma so that is what this karma is so he three questions have been answered brahma param brahma is 
this akshara is param brahma swabhava is adhyatma and visarga which is bhuta bhavod bhavakara visarga only that visarga which generates this i mean generates or causes someone to be born causes things and beings to be born is called karma let's look at uh, bhashya what bhagwan bhashyakara says there he says aksharam naksharati iti aksharam paramatma what is brahma paramatma is brahma who never changes etasya vaksharasya prashasane gargi iti shrutehe in bhradarnika shruta shruti uh, bhagwan yajnavalkya is teaching his uh, is teaching uh, there i think this uh, is teaching gargi who is questioning there in in janaka sabha so there he says Uh, all this is ruled by whom that parmatma rules over all of this he gargi that is par- that parmatma is akshara he really does not change he manifests with saguna to rule over the world without really undergoing any change it is shrute he this akshara is brahma par parmatma omkarasya cha om iti ek aksharam brahma iti parena visheshanat agrahanam so omkara is also called as if there is a doubt maybe some purvacharya may have done this interpretation that this brahma here akshara brahma akshara has been said right so aksharam and brahma are in samanadikaranya paramam is also in samanadikaranya this makes one sentence aksharam paramam brahma bhavati or uchyate akshara is called as param brahma paramam brahma that that akshara is called as brahma or param aksharam paramam aksharam brahma however you put together paramam is an adjective now this parama visheshana being there akshara cannot be called as omka can be cannot be interpreted as omkara om iti om iti ekaksharam brahma in the 8th chapter he is going to say that akshara ओम इति एकाक्षरम ब्रह्म इति परेण विशेषणात अग्रहणम हियर दिस अक्षरम कैन नॉट बी टेकन एज दिस अक्षरा हियर व्हिच अक्षरा हियर 13 श्लोका लेट्स स्क्रोल डाउन लेट्स स्पीक अहेड सो इन 13 श्लोका व्हाट आई सेड ओम इति एकाक्षरम ब्रह्म व्याहरन माम अनुस्मरण यह प्रयाति त्यजन त्यजन देहम स याति परमाम गतिम so om iti ekaksharam brahma so this a aksharam brahma here is om and in what we are seeing though in the third shloka you are seeing aksharam brahma is this naksharati ti aksharam paramatma how can it be paramatma it is omkara actually omkara is also a name of paramatma but it is not that akshara is not omkara akshara omkara is a name but here we are not talking about a name nama we are talking about a namni one who has that name so we are talking about padartha not pada although pada padartho or abheda that is at a much later level at a later level of understanding here while doing textual analysis what is this akshara is this omkara or not in 13th shloka it is omkara why is it taken as parmatma here and not as omkara that भगवान भाष्यकर सेज दैट परम परम विशेषण परेण विशेषण परम विशेषण परेण परेण ब्रह्मण थ्रू दैट विशेषण एज पर ब्रह्म पर विशेषण टेल्स यू दैट अक्षर इज नॉट ओंकार अक्षर इज न क्षरती अक्षर इज ऑलसो एप्लीकेबल टू ओंकार बट हियर इट इज परमात्मा बिकॉज ऑफ पर विशेषण परम परम और पर, परम और पर सेम मीनिंग इति विशेषण ओंकार से अग्रहण ओंकार से अग्रहण ओंकार इज नॉट टू बी टेकन एज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड लिटरली इट इज पर ब्रह्म परमात्मा परम च निरतिशय ब्रह्मणी अक्षरे उपपन्नतर विशेषण एंड परम इज यूज फॉर दिस ब्रह्म अक्षर एंड टू डिफाइन ब्रह्म इट इज द मोस्ट fitting because there is niratishay this brahma cannot have anything beyond brahmi vriddhau 
लिमिटलेस ब्रह्म इन्फिनिट लिमिटलेस पूर्ण ब्रह्म देर इज नथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट देर फोर इट इज दाइट इंटरप्रिटेशन इट इज दपन्न तरम विशेषण इज परम परम इन न्यूटन सो दैट परम उच्यते परम ब्रह्म उच्यते दिस अक्षरम तस्य परस्य ब्रह्मण प्रतिदे प्रत्यगात्म भाव स्वभाव एंड व्हाट इज दिस स्वभाव नाउ तस्व परस्य ब्रह्मण परमात्म ऑफ दैट ब्रह्म प्रतिदेह प्रत्यगात्म भाव मैनिफेस्टेशन एज दि इनर मोस्ट इंडिविजुअल एज अहम 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 तया वर्तमान वन हू इज देर एज अहम अहम who is there in each and every being as i manifest as i that is this pratyagatma innermost self who is that none other than this brahma why because upanishad in srishti prakriya each upanishad says having created this body then he entered this body and what is that entering he entered without undergoing any change what is this entering really a huge discussion is there in taitiri upanishad towards the end of uh, this uh, satyam jnanam anantam brahma uh, not satyam jnanam anantam brahma sorry uh, anupravishya tadena tadeva anupravishya so he entered that tat srishtva tadeva anupravishya so she entered that and then anupravishya something he did something so there are a uh, lot of discussion as to who is that parabrahma entered or someone else entered who is this then who is this jivatma uh, discussion goes on there's a lot of technical discussion also but the conclusion is what having created he entered when you say having created he entered tat srishtva tade tadeva anupravishya tade tat tad srishtva srishtva is twa pratyaya so when twa pratyaya has been used having created tat srishtva having created he entered so the karta who created is the one who entered so one who creates this prapancha who created the sharira that is ishwara then that ishwara entered it cannot be anyone else you in the grammatically twa when you use twa the its kartari the karta who he cre- he created that krit pratyaya is used for a karta who who entered having done who did it having done something that event is separate but the karta who did it is to follow in the next kriya it cannot be some other I I cannot say that having I having created you did something else that is not a construct at all the one who created having created he himself entered otherwise that twa pratyay cannot be used it connects those two kriyas of the same karta having created I having created you entered is not a construct at all grammatically wrong. therefore it has to be the same parmatma and that is used here by saying tasyo parasya brahmanah that parmatma alone pratideham pratyagatma ho tasyo he is alone is this swabhava called as pratyagatma bhava called as swabhava he is alone individuality he is alone innermost presence in each and every sharira as aham aham that is that swabhava is what adhyatmam uchyate swabhava is what swaha swabhava swabhava is swaha swabhava one's own bhavana one's own presence there is a manifestation manifestation is better one's own manifestation there or uh, presence there as an individual jiva now i as do limited parmatma cannot be limited just like that uh, akasha cannot be limited as mruda akasha ghata akasha uh, ghata akasha the maha akasha cannot be limited as ghata akasha you can you can draw boundaries you can create walls you can create a pot but still that space cannot be separated for vyavahara we can say the space is there there is a pot space pot 1 space pot 2 space pot 3 space 
space is the same mahakasha same total space room space or the space outside there is no inside and outside for the space really even where that wall is created or the boundary of the pot is created the space is there even there how can it be segmented it is only for vyavahara really it is not segmented similarly brahma for vyavahara manifests into this prapancha and tasyeva upabhogaya srishti bhavati for that the upabhoga of that jiva the srishti has been created because he has karma to undergo bhoga of and why does he have it because he wants it he wants it he wants to be born again and again he wants more and more bhoga and whatever is uh, the most appropriate appropriate means sharira for that kind of a bhoga which is ripe to be undergone experience of for for the jiva to experience that kind of sharira the jiva gets so that is said here as swabhava is adhyatma atmanam deham arikritya pratyagatmataya pravartam parmartha brahmavasanam vastu swabhava adhyatma muchyate parmartha brahma brahmavasanam brahma is the culmination of this parmartha brahma this this parabrahma is the culmination of this journey of the jiva also who is manifest the same brahma is manifest as jiva without undergoing any change really but he thinks that i am limited due to ajnana and through jnana his culmination is also this parmartha brahma brahma avasanam that vastu swabhava adhyatma uchyate adhyatma shabdena abhidiyate tyartha adhyatma uchyate means it is called as adhyatma through the word adhyatma what is called as adhyatma it is the same brahma but manifest in the individual sharira same akshara brahma really but akshara brahma here para brahma when sitting outside the body mind sense complex we consider some some total of everyone or the overlord whatever you want to call that parmatma he is that akshara brahma but once he is individualized as though then we call that as adhyatma that brahma is called as adhyatma further bhuta bhavod bhava karaha bhutanam bhava bhuta bhava tasya udbhava bhuta bhavod bhava tan karoti iti bhuta bhavod bhava karaha this is just the samasa vigraha bhuta vastu utpatti karaha ityartha means one that causes the utpatti of bhuta vastu of the beings basically bhuta vastu put together some beings sentient we think sentient beings what is visargaha visarjanam devata uddeshana charu purana shadehe dravyasya parityagaha devata uddeshena dravyasya parityagaha visarga uchyate visarjanam offering visarjana means uh, it's a it's visarga is a bhave vyutpatti that is shown by using this bhave word visarjana with lut pratya with the devata in mind whatever is offered so this is the meaning really varnashrama in that what is offered to the to the lord through this agni offering in the agni and saying that indraya swaha indraidam namama whatever is offered to bhagwan through the agni indri homa that is called as visargaha sa esha visarga lakshana yajna that yajna which is visarga lakshana means where offering is being done that for the devatas that is called as karma karma sanyita means karma shabdita ityartha called through the word karma is is denoted through the word karma that yajna which is visarga offering made to the lord in a in a karma Uh, in a in a sorry in a yajna that yajna is called as this yajna there is this offering made so is a visarga lakshana yajna that yajna in which the visarga is being done and that offer without an offering there is no yajna that offering itself is yajna and that yajna where this offering is done that is called as karma through the word karma that is what is denoted etasmati bija bhuta vrishtyadikramena 
ಸ್ಥಾವರ ಜಂಗಮಾನಿ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಉದ್ಭವಂತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೃಷ್ಟಿಯಾದಿಕ್ರಮಣ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೃಷ್ಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ರೇನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಡ್ಲೆಸ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಯು ಬಿ ಎ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರನ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಸೊ ಚರು ಚರು ಪೂರ್ಣಾಶಾ ದೇಹೇ ದ್ರವ್ಯಸ್ಯ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಮೇನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಣಾಶ್ರಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ಫಲ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಫಲ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ನಾಥ್ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಸೊ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ವೃಷ್ಟಿಯಾದಿ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ದಿ ದಿ ಗ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅನ್ನಾಥ್ ಭೂತಾನಿ ಅನ್ನಾಥ್ ಪುರುಷ ಇನ್ ತೈತ್ರಿಯ the sequence is mentioned there and then annath uh, <coughs> sorry annath purusha then that purusha is who really the purusha there is annath purusha there the purusha is not the brahmatma jivatma that purusha is not the atma there that purusha is the sharira which is born in which the there is manifestation of this parabrahma as what as swabhavaha meaning as adhyatma so this is the meaning of this complicated set of words and not all questions are over further bhagwan says bhagwan krishna says so i am not uh, doing any anvaya here i have explained it just put together words and uh, add this uchyate bhavati whatever ಅಧಿಭೂತ ಕ್ಷರೋ ಭಾವ ಪುರುಷಶ್ಚಾಧಿದೈವತಂಜ್ಞೋಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹಂಹ
So, and what is Adibhuta? Adibhuta is Kshara Bhavaha. Kshara. Akshara is Brahma. Sharaha is Adibhuta. All this Adibhuta means all the things. All those are what? Sharaha. Shara, whatever is born. So need not be only insentient. But sentient can never be born. What is really born is insentient. The Jiva associates with the insentient Jadavastu which is born and brings sentience as though unto it. But what is really born is Sharaha. All that which keeps on declining, which is Jada, that is called as Adibhuta here. Who is Purusha? Purusha Adidaivatam. No, not who is Purusha, what is Adidaivatam? Who is Purusha in the sense, here who is Purusha in this shloka? As an answer, Adidaivata, what is Adidaivata? Question by Arjuna. Answer given is Purushascha Adidaivatam. Purusha is Adidaivata. Who is this Purusha now? Purusha can be seen as a Sharira, where Purusha is born. Purusha can be seen as the Ishwara, Paramatma. Purusha can be seen as an individual, a man, uh, as, as a Jivatma also. So there are various meanings here. Purusha here is being in Samadha Dikran with Adhidaivatam. Adhidaivatam. Individual is not Adhidaivata. So Adhidaivata is what? All these these the Indriya Devatas. The Indriya Devatas, the Daiva word is there here, Adhidaiva. This Indriya Devatas, the presiding deities of Indriyas. If you studied Tattavoda, you know for each Indriya there is the presiding deity. Who blesses that Indriya to function? Therefore, in the solution which is the Alaukika, Alaukika solution for Laukika Labha is Vaida, Vedas. Through Vedas you get Alaukika Phala also, you get Laukika Phala also. So for Laukika Phala, one can do Laukika Karma, one can do Alaukika Karma also as revealed by the Shastras. Similarly, for good health, good health one can do Laukika Karma, exercising and all that. But then even this exercise does not work, the body is have, it has diseases, whatever happens there, to increase the strength, what do you do? Inner strength has to be there. For that, you pray to the Lord. Same Ishwara who manifests as this, as Hiranyagarbha, and Hiranyagarbha himself who manifests as Indriya Devatas, and these Indriya Devatas bless the Indriyas. So, you, for for example, for uh, good eyesight, you have to pray to Surya. Surya gives you good eyesight. Gives good health generally, but eyesight specifically. Because Indriya Devata, Chakshusha Devata. So Adibhutam Sharabhava Purusha is Purusha is Hiranya Garvaha Cha Adidaivatam. And Adi Yajna is, is Bhagavan Vishnu who is Krishna. Now, so six questions have been answered here. Adibhutam Prani Jatam Adikritya Bhavati. So Adikritya Bhavati iti Adibhutam. That is the Vigraha Vakya of Adibhuta. Prani Jata. Who takes this Prani Jatam Adikritya Bhavati iti ko asau Kshara Kshara iti Kshara Vinashi. Whatever is Vinashi is called as Adibhuta. Yet Kinchi Janimat Vastu Ityartha. Whatever is born, whatever is produced. Instead of saying born, when you say born, we think of, uh, we don't say ghata is born. We say ghata is produced. So we can say produced. Janimat vastu, whatever is, is produced is called as, is, is kshara because what is produced will and will get destructed, will have wear and tear and will get destroyed in time. Who is purusha? Purnam. Anena purnam sarvam iti purushaha. Who is purusha? Anena Purnam, Purusha, the real meaning is that, that, that Brahmatma Brihivriddha Dhatu, that who is derived from that Brihivriddha Dhatu to show that he is limitless, that Purna, limitless, Anena, he makes everyone Purna, just by mere presence. Iti Purusha or Puri Shayanatva, Puri is in a city. 
in a city of you see nine gated city called the body comparison like a city nine gates so this purusha is purishayanath he remains in this body therefore is called as purusha but really who is purusha is that purusha is that parabrahma who manifests as an individual as well therefore purnat purusha or purishayanatva purusha but in this context that purusha is manifest as who the same ishvara is manifest as purusha aditya antargato hiranya garbah that same parmatma ishvara who associates with the shariras with the, with the sukshma sharira abhimana he becomes hiranya garbah and who is said to be there in surya how well do you identify this uh, the the ishvara tattva manifest as the universal abhimani of universal sukshma sharira and then extending to stool sharira as virat purusha where it, where is he actually he is all pervasive everywhere but where do you for upasana where is he manifested for upasana you say he is aditya antargata in the solar disk he is there so when the upasana surya upasana somebody does it is not surya upasana it is gaseous structure science calls this surya as this whatever gaseous structure it is there ball of fire it is not that it is the sentient deity who is abhimani there we say that he is present in the solar disk for upasana same ishvara not anyone else he is not really surya devata per se he is that sentient entity who is ishvara the only sentient entity but as a universal principle he associates and we use for upasana as in surya for gayatri upasana also for gayatri mantra also it is savita devata so invocation so when when you start the japa gayatri japa also you say that so it is who savita devata who is the deity savita devata that hiranyagarbha really ishvara basically so aditya antargato hiranyagarbha but in this context adidevata when he uh, with adidevata how do you explain everything is finally ishvara but in the context you have to take that ishvara and land him somewhere to fit that adidevata definition so hiranyagarbha and through hiranyagarbha as meaning sarva prani karanaanam anugrahakah he is one who blesses all the indriyas all the karana prani karanaanam means prani indriyana sah adidevatam he is that adidevata finally who is adiyajna adiyajna sarvajna sarvayajna abhimani sarvayajna abhimanini vishnakhya devata devata vishnu is a devata effulgent being devata means really effulgent being who is that effulgent being vishnu who is the presiding deity of any deity you invoke he is the, the one really invoked adiyajna yajyo vai vishnu that is the pramana taitriya samhita mantra says yajyo vai vishnu iti shrute he due to that shruti sai vishnu aham eva and who is that vishnu bhagwan krishna says i am that vishnu atra asmin dehe yah yajna whatever yajna is going on in this each and every body tasya aham adiyajna i am the one who partakes so basically what is the meaning you go any which way that ishvara is manifest the same uh, akshara brahma parmatma is ishvara is hiranyagarbha is sarva prani kar, karma karnanam anugrahaka is adhyatma also he is manifest and there is adi devata also uh, blessing all the indriyas and indriyas are of whose is jivatma who is brahma and then after his karnas are also breath he can do yajna for this continuation of the cycle and yajna offering who is partaking really sarva yajna abhimanini the deity of all the yajnas in this body itself what is going on is that vishnu vishnu is partaking of that he is the abhimani really and 
Vishnu Ahameva. So it is that me alone who is associated with each and every individual as Adhyatma. Atra Asmin Dehe Yaha Yajnya. Tasyam Adhi Yajnya. That Yajnya is also centered around me. Yajnya he Deva Nirvart. Chatvera Deha Samavayati Dehadi Karanu Bhavati Deha Vratamvara He Deha Vratamvara Best of all those who, is, who are embodied what, Who is Bhagavan really addressing? Who is the best among the embodied? Is Arjuna true? But Arjuna is also that Jiva who is Adhyatma Who is no one but the Swabhava of Brahma Who is manifest as Hiranyagarbha Blesses the Indriyas And then also Kshara, not really Kshara by Vinashi, but he is not Vinashi. That Vinashi Kshara is which is born unto which he associates as Adhyatma. Then does Yajna continues to get Janma after Janma and Samsara, Samsara continues. So there is no one else really. If you look at it in this entire explanation, all words are, all big words have been used. But really what is it? It is the same Ishwara all round. It is Brahma with various Upadis and various functionaries explained differently. Antakale chama meva smaran mukta kale varam yaprayati samadbhavan yati nastyatra samushayaha. I'll just finish this so that we can finish one round of this question answer session between Arjuna and Krishna. So seventh question is answered all over. Not only in this shloka, it will be answered. Antakale cha mameva smaran. Remembering me alone. Antakale, prayana kale, same meaning. Mameva smaran, only remembering me. Who? Really, is this Krishna really? Krishna is saying I am Adhi Yajna. He is saying I am Adhi Yajna. Yajnyo Vishnu, Vishnu Ahameva. So I am Adi Yajna, he says. So who are you really going to remember? Not that Vishnu Devata. Ahameva, not that Krishna also. Because Krishna is Vishnu. Should you, should you think of Krishna or should you think of Vishnu? At the end, at the Prayana Kala, Antakala. Mameva Smaran, he says. Who is that me? He says, Aksharam Brahma, who is manifest as Adhyat, Adhyatma. Who is Hiranyagarbha blessing the Karanas and that blessed Karana, uh, the person with the blessed Karanas is performing Yajna which is centered around me. So everything is centered around that me which is Parabrahma, Paramatma, Adhyatma, Jivatma because there is none other. That Atma you should think of. Smaran. At the end, you should be thinking about that Advaita Atma, really. That's what it means. And Muktva Kalevaram Yah Prayati, one who, one who leaves this body, Vide Mukti, Saha Madhbhava Yati. Madhbhava Yati becomes one with Atma. Atma becomes one with Paramatma. Because he's thought about that Paramatma who is non-different from you. From my own self, uh, that Paramatma is not different. So where will I merge? That merging is figurative. Merging is dropping off of the Upadi itself is merging because you have never been different from Paramatma. Atra Asmin Vishaye Samushaya Nasti Vishaya Saptami Atra means Asmin Vishaye Yaha Prayati Samat Bhavyati Katham Prayati Anta Kalecha Mameva Smaran Muktva Kalevaram Or if you think that uh, there is upasana. If this is considered as upasana, then it is krama mukti. Thereby, one attains that brahmanuka. So, uh, other types of muktis can also be interpreted here. Possible madbhavam yati. He becomes one with that upasya devata. Here being Vishnu or that hiranyagarbha. Just quickly, I'll look at this. So, antakale marana kale cha maamiva parameshwaram parameshwaram Vishnu smaran. Muktva Parityajya, having given up the body, Kalevaram, Kalevaram is Sharira, Kalevaram Muktva. Maam Smaran, Kalevaram Muktva, having given up the Kalevara, Kalevara is Sharira, 
यह प्रयाति गच्छति वन हु डिपार्ट सह मद्भाव वैष्णव तत्व याति ही अटेन्स दैट वैष्णव वैष्णव इज विभू तत्व विभूत्वात विष्णु हु विष्णु बिकॉज विभू ऑल परवेजिव एंटिटी ऑल परवेजिव मींस विदाउट एनी डिविजन आकाशस्य अपि कारणम नास्ति न विद्यते अत्र अस्मिन अर्थे विषय अर्थे संशयः याति वा न वा इति वेदर वन अटेन्स परमात्मा और नॉट दैट इज नॉट अ नॉट टू बी डाउटेड एट ऑल देयर इज नो डाउट बिकॉज़ डेफिनेटली ही अटेन्स मद्भाव परमात्म भाव सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ श्लोक विल सी द सिक्स्थ श्लोक इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त संभवम अंडस्यांतस्तु मे लोकाः सप्तद्वीपा च मे दिनी एनी क्वेश्चंस Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. Huh? Namaste.